Hi everyone. My name is Fernando and welcome to a new 9 to 5 Mac video. Sound familiar? That was iOS 17's brand new accessibility feature called Personal Voice. So I want to talk to you guys about it. Let's get into it. So about a week ago, when Apple released those press releases and announced things like Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro, they also had a press release that talked a lot about accessibility and what they're doing to kind of make Apple's kind of hardware, their devices, their software more accessible to more people throughout the world. And one of the things that they added was something called personal voice. And it was supposed to come out with iOS 17. And after they made their announcements during WWDC, we went into the settings to see if personal voice was available. And it looks like it is in the settings. Now it takes a little while to set up apparently about 15 to 30 minutes, maybe even longer. But the idea is that you can use this and train your phone to learn your voice. So then when something happens, let's say you're in a situation where you can't speak, or maybe you have a medical condition where you lose your voice over time. You can then use a personal voice sort to type stuff out and then it's going to sound like you because it's been trained with your voice. Now that is ideally what it's supposed to do. It is in beta one right now and we're gonna test this in real time together. We're gonna go through the setup, we're gonna go through exactly what it entails and see how realistic this is as an option for people to be able to use if they're in situations where this needs to be used. So I'm very curious to see what it's like. So without further ado, let's do this together, get it set up and see exactly what we got going on with personal voice and if it's gonna be as good as Apple says it's going to be and as useful as well. So let's get right into this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up my iPhone right here so you guys can follow Follow along and again you need iOS 17 or newer for you to be able to actually do this so I am on beta 1 I'm using a 13 Pro Max and I don't know if there's any restrictions on which iPhone essentially it's going to be available for but as of right now to my knowledge as long as your iPhone supports iOS 17 you can actually get this personal voice situation done so if we go into our settings we scroll down to accessibility and then you scroll a little bit farther down under speech we go there's two options there there's live speech and then there's something called personal voice so we click on personal voice there's a couple options here. It says share across devices. So personal voice will be available on things like Mac OS Sonoma as well as iPad OS 17. I'm not sure if it's on watch OS 10 or anything like that, but you can share it across your devices and it will be saved. So you only have to set it up once on your iPhone or any of those devices and it'll be saved on all your other iDevices. devices. So if we go over here to press create your personal voice, it says here record yourself, read a series of sentences aloud, which may take around an hour. So it could take some time for this to get, actually get done. It says generate your personal voice, iPhone will create and securely store your personal voice, and then use your personal voice anywhere, communicate with live speech, which lets you type to speak in your own voice in FaceTime, phone, and assistive communication apps. So again, if you're in a situation where you can't speak, but you still wanna use FaceTime, you can then use that in FaceTime. So we're gonna press continue here. It says, get ready to record, find a quiet place, get comfortable in a room that has no echo or background, speak naturally, so read out loud at a consistent volume, keeping your device about six inches from your mouth, and then take your time. So after you read each phrase aloud, a new one will appear. You can save your current progress at any time. So again, if it's going to literally learn every single word in the English language or any other language for that matter, and I'll leave down a link in the description to let you guys know what languages are supported by this, but if it's gonna learn a lot of this stuff from you then, it's gonna take some time to actually learn what your voice sounds like, what your inflections are like, and things of that nature, because not every word is said in the same way, depending on whether you're asking a question, making a statement, yelling at somebody, happy for somebody, sad about something, it all ranges based on emotion. So we're gonna press continue here. We're gonna create a voice. I'm gonna leave it as Fernando's personal voice. We'll leave it like that. Press continue, and then check sound quality. So record the phrase shown below. iPhone will analyze the sound quality when you're done. So here we go. I'm creating a personal voice with my iPhone. So it's telling me to try to find a quieter location. Current sound levels are high and may impact personal voice quality. I'm gonna hold it closer to my mouth. She later served as a president of the group. Should you really leave your shoes on the stairs? Now I'm gonna pause right here because I don't wanna walk you guys through this entire thing, but once this is almost done, I'll come back to the video and show you guys my progress. This is the common name of a group of plants with large, handsome flowers. Hooray, you did it. I thought that meant I was done. That roller coaster was so fun. <sighs> Looks like we're done recording. So it says, congratulations, you have successfully finished recording all the phrases and ready to create your personal voice. That took a long time. As you guys probably saw from the screen recording, I started about a half hour ago. I did pause it a couple times, so some things to note. 
You can pause it as you're going through it so you don't have to finish it all in one go. Secondly, if you do mess up one of the kind of wordings, just say it again and it'll just keep going. It doesn't make you re-say anything. So just some things to take note of that I notice. Let's press continue here. Your personal voice will be created securely on device. Since the process may need to complete overnight, there are a few things to keep in mind. Plug in your phone. iPhone will generate your personal voice only when the device is charging. When your personal voice is ready to use, you'll receive a notification and you can also track progress in settings. And I guess that's about it, guys. So when this is done, I'm gonna come back to you and let you guys know what happened. So I'm gonna plug in the iPhone, see how it sounds when it generates my voice. And if this thing is as good as it says it's gonna be, it'll be pretty impressive. Maybe kind of scary. Let's see. So as you guys can see, I'm in a different shirt because that took a lot longer than the expected one hour. So it did take about 15 to almost 20 minutes to do all the actual voice recording portions of this actual you know, new personal voice feature. But then it said it needed to be plugged in in order for the voice to generate. And now it did take forever. It actually took multiple days. Like I think I started recording this on a Thursday and it is now Monday when it finally started to work. And it did say it was gonna take an hour, but like I said, it took much longer than that. But basically what it kept showing me was whenever I would plug in to actually charge the phone or whether it was with MagSafe, it would tell me that it was generating the voice with some percent marker underneath the personal voice, but it would get stuck on certain numbers for like hours at a time until finally it did work. I checked it this morning and the personal voice was created. So I'm gonna pull my phone up right here and show you guys exactly what it looks like in the settings. So if I go into my settings, you're gonna to wanna to go back into accessibility, scroll down to where it says personal voice, and then you can see that the first personal voice is right here and you can create multiple of them. And what's nice about this is that it goes across all of your iOS 17 devices. And just so you are aware, this is a 13 Pro Max. I'm not 100% sure what the support is. I'm assuming if you support iOS 17, so the iPhone 10s and 10s Max, or newer, you'll be able to support something like personal voice. But once you're done with that, what you're gonna to wanna to do to actually access it, because it was a little tricky to actually access it, you go into live speech and make sure that toggle is turned on. And then you have a couple options here. The main one is adding favorite phrases. So if I wanna add a phrase right here, you press the plus sign, say, hello, how are you? Press save, done, and then that is added into your favorite voice. And now the way to actually pull this up is interesting. You gotta triple press on the lock button. So one, two, three, and then you can see you have a couple options here. So I have my background sounds, magnifier, and then live speech. And then when live speech starts to take over, you do have, you can actually type things out completely. So hello there. Hello there. Or you can go into your phrases, which I have a couple of created ones like, I'm really hungry. Or, hey, get back here and pick up your toys. So it's kind of interesting because it works relatively well. What I'm gonna do now is actually turn off the screen recording so you guys can hear what my voice sounds like through the personal voice. So it should be a little bit louder now. I'm gonna do all the saved ones that I have. Hi everyone. I'm really hungry. Hey, get back here and pick up your toys. Hello, how are you? So as you guys can hear, it does sound a little bit robotic, but it has kind of like the the sound that I make. So it is unique to you, but it's still not absolutely perfect, obviously, right? In my opinion, it is a great feature. It works kind of as intended, but it's not like creepy enough where it sounds like a one-to-one -one spitting image or spitting sound of myself. It kind of has like a robotic version of my voice, which I'm okay with because I don't want it to be completely creepy, but you can literally write out as many characters as you want. So I'm gonna write something out pretty long and then get back. So I just wrote out a decently long one. I'm gonna press send. Hey there, everyone. Today, I wanted to make a video talking about the new personal voice feature. I think it's an absolute game changer for a lot of people. Let me know what you think. So again, it's decent at kind of giving me what my voice sort of sounds like, but at the end of the day, it's not exactly what I do sound like. And, or you guys tell me in the comments down below what you think. But overall, I think it's a welcome feature. So again, it's in your accessibilities. You have the ability to add favorite phrases. Like I mentioned, it took a couple of days for it to actually fully generate. That could be because I am on a beta one. It could be because I'm using a 13 Pro Max, not a 14 Pro Max or a newer phone. Again, it could be because it's just not 100% ready yet, and the idea is for it to be able to generate within an hour, because all the prompts let you know like, hey, it's gonna take 15 minutes to actually do a couple of recordings of your voice, and it's gonna take a full hour for it to actually take into effect. And you can create multiple of these if you want to. So if you wanna make more of them, maybe use different voices, or maybe do it for somebody else as well, you can do that. Just make sure that your live speech is turned on, and then like I said, you have your personal voice to share across all devices, and you can also allow apps to request use. So things like phone calls and FaceTimes will also be able to use this, you'll be able to dictate inside of those FaceTimes, which is gonna be a great feature for a lot of people. So overall, personal voice, it did work, it took a lot longer than expected, but at the end of the day, it's probably just gonna get better and better, which is either a scary thing or a good thing or somewhere in between there because it's gonna be useful to a lot of people. 
but it could be used in situations to maybe take advantage of other situations. You know, there is that other side of the spectrum where, you know, you can kind of mimic somebody's voice to get something done and kind of pretend to be somebody. But for now, it's not nearly good enough for that. But that's gonna do for this video, everybody. Let me know with a comment down below what you think about personal voice. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it something that you see yourself using, you know, past kind of just showing it off or as a gimmicky feature? Let me know with a comment down below. And if you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below as well so I know you made it to the end. And if you guys wanna watch some more iOS, iPadOS, Mac OS content, more WWDC stuff. We got a big Mac OS video coming out soon. So definitely stay subscribed, everybody. But that's going to do it. I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here. Peace. Bye, everyone.